Kinichiwa, hope everyone's good. I'll do a quick video on three different budget compasses that I highly recommend. I can't recommend a compass that I haven't used, so these are the ones that I've got. Everybody's on a different budget, so I thought I would do my recommendations, like my top three. That I highly recommend everyone. Even if you're not on the budget, they're still good compasses. So this one is the lowest budget. It's from Mountain Warehouse. It was £15, but I got it reduced to £7. I bought it in store, but I've seen it on the website for £7. So I'll put a link in the description for that. I don't know about outside of the UK but it's probably just a generic Chinese compass that is branded just for Mountain Warehouse which is just a very low budget outdoor store here in the UK anyway I've had this one for about a month now it's liquid filled but it's been thrown around in the bag in the car in the woods Treaded a bit rough just to see if it would develop an air bubble and it hasn't for the price I'm not bothered if it does but this one stood up to it a little bit of abuse, I haven't been too hard on it comes with a lanyard which is polyester I think easy to read dial good compass not come to see Egypt. A little bit of Irish there. You feckin' Egypt. Uh, magnifying glass. Good strong material. Very accurate. Good bezel. I'll switch the lights off so you can see it in the dark. It's got some good luminous markings on it. It's clear to read in the dog as well, if the camera wants to focus. There you go. So that's that one. Good compass. Strong, cheap, so far reliable. I recommend this one for people on a tight budget or just like I say, if you just want a compass, you don't want to spend a lot of money. That one. Third one. One I'm sure everyone's familiar with. I've had this one for years. Again, no bubble, liquid filled. It's the Ranger 3. Very popular compass. I'm sure everyone's familiar with it. Excellent magnifying glass. Just like the other one, easy to read. Dial. Good illumination as well. Though the degree marker doesn't illuminate. Can't really see the north hand. I'll get some light on that. See if it illuminate properly. I should have put under a light before I switch the light off. Hmm. 
can just see it there. Oh, the camera's doing something funny. Yeah, you can just see it there. Angus Compass is coming up to about 10 years old, so the hand's not as bright as it used to be. I think that one was 25 to 29 pound but it's not popular sorry it's popular for a reason that's because it's a good compass last one this one comes from America and this one's the best I've come across yet it's one that I highly recommend for all outdoor activities, very strong and rugged. Obviously, it's designed to military specifications. It's the uh, Kamanga H3. Comes in a bag with an Alice clip. This thing is really strong, this stud opened at loads and it's still not wearing out no ripping around here so good solid bag can obviously be used for other things besides sticking the compass in it but this one's one of my favourites unlike the other two this one's not liquid filled so impossible to develop an air bubble also like it for the lock which locks the compass part stops it from being thrown off by anything magnetic around it good bezel, positive clicks another reason I like it you can repair it in the field just take off the screws and you can take it apart like I say it's not liquid filled so you haven't got anything to worry about with that the case is aluminium or aluminium for the Americans very good strong not afraid to knock it around I treat everything rough if it's something that breaks easily I don't want it The uh, glass is plastic, the bezel is plastic, and this piece here is plastic, and I think the magnifier is also plastic, but that doesn't matter, because it's obviously protected by this metal, nice sighting system. Took us a while to get used to this one because obviously I've been using this for years. Also comes with a nice lanyard. Magnifying glass you can't use to start a fire, it's not high enough magnification. So I'll get this one illuminated. Find the camera. Oh, nearly there, there we go. Put that under for a few minutes longer. I think it's tritium. Hmm. Lost it again, there it is. This one's a little harder to see on the camera. It's easier on uh, with your bare eyes. The camera's not picking it up that well though for some reason. Not as bright as the first and second one. 
suppose that's a good thing though, it is a military compass. You don't want a huge bright glowing illumination giving you a wee at night I guess. But so far I really like this. I've carried this one for two or three months. Mostly when I'm in the woods I don't ADC it or anything. It's been thrown around a little bit. And uh, this one's a uh, £100, 99.95 from Heine Hayes. Camera's glitching. So that's the top three compasses that I highly recommend. Kamenga 3H, Silver Ranger 3. And uh, the Mountain Warehouse Compass. I'll put a link in the description to all of these, obviously for the UK. And obviously I've said what they are, what these two are anyway. This one's like a generic Chinese branded for Mountain Warehouse, but these two said what they are, so just Google it. You can find it in your country that way, I guess. That's all I've got to say. End of the video now, otherwise I'm going to babble on. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Sayonara.